Hi, my name is Marcus, and in this video, we are going to look at the life of the little Cajun saint, Charlene Richard. As a Louisiana native, her story has a very special significance to me. Parts of this video include a pilgrimage that I went on to her gravesite, which became a spiritual experience I will never forget. Charlene Richard was born on January 13, 1947, in Richard, Louisiana. She was the second child of ten. Charlene was a devout Catholic, but no more than any other little girl in the area. She loved sports and was very active, but otherwise she was unremarkable. Charlene began seeing an apparition of a tall woman in black and began to appear out of sorts. When taken to see a doctor, Charlene was diagnosed with acute lymphatic leukemia. She would be hospitalized and passed away just two weeks after being diagnosed on August the 11th, 1959, at the tender age of 12. While in the hospital, she would be visited daily by newly ordained priest Father Joseph Brennan. Father Brennan was struck by the peace and serenity that Charlene had in the face of an illness that was a death sentence. During her time in the hospital, she held true to her faith and prayed for others and for others to convert to Catholicism. Her response would be noticed by other staff at Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital in Lafayette, Louisiana. Just before her death, Father Brennan began sharing with other clergy that he believed there was something special about Charlene. After her death, her story began to spread locally. Faithful who asked for Charlene's intercession reported miracles. Throughout the following decades, the numbers of visitors increased to her grave, and annual masses are said in her memory. Charlene's story resonates with me on a number of different levels. To me, Louisiana represents common people with humble backgrounds. Charlene represented just an average girl who held true to her faith. I believe that faith and devotion is best understood through experience and innocence of childhood. People like Charlene have a purity of belief, unfettered by doubt, bitterness, the disillusionment that comes with being older. Charlene's story teaches me calm acceptance of crisis and of mortality. She represents maintaining love for our fellow man and a concern for our fellow man even as our own life is unraveling rapidly. Her story is an illustration of living a passionate life. Going to Charlene's grave on pilgrimage helps me to focus my mind on all the many blessings and gifts that God has poured out in my life. It reminds me of a serious crisis I have had in my own life and how God has seen me through each of them. This visit helps me understand that in this current time of crisis, I should press into God more that I should prepare myself to receive the sacraments in a deeper way. It helps expose my weaknesses, it exposes the sins in my life, and it inspires me not to be as judgmental towards others when I have so much to address in my own daily walk. Traveling here away from the familiar, I found myself clearing my mind of distractions. And then I also found myself being more grateful for even the simplest things. St. Edwards is a peaceful place. While praying, I reflected on Charlene's response to her crisis and asked her that same grace in my life, to face whatever may come in this life. An examination of Charlene's life and faith walk has taught me that closeness to God can come from small acts of faith and love from ordinary people who live their lives in an ordinary place. And this pilgrimage to me is as powerful as any other and while I was here, I said a prayer for Charlene and her path to sainthood. So if ever you find yourself in South Louisiana and have time to make a stop by St. Edward's Church, say a prayer to the little Cajun saint. A short life lived in the love of Christ and is a blessing to the whole world. 